kick it, Jackie Chan. Oh, Jamar Chase with the dive. You know, Garrett Wilson's wide open. Garrett Wilson, touchdown Barrett. What's going on guys and welcome back to another video here on the World of Juice channel and welcome back to another episode here on Throwback Thursday. That is right, Throwback Thursday returns as it always does and we are continuing season number two of the worst to first rebuild of the New York Giants here on ESPN NFL 2K5. That is right. We started the second season last Thursday, and we finished the first half of the year 4-4. Four and four. We also, I say we, I learned how to scramble in the last episode as well. Somebody uh, on a previous video in season one had given me some tips, some pointers on how to play the game. Because I, had, I have talked about this, I have never played ESPN NFL 2K5 before this series started so I had no idea how to do anything especially in an actual game I had no idea how to do any of the controls any of the moves and stuff so especially I didn't know how to, I didn't know how to scramble so that whole first season I didn't know how to scramble but now I do I know how to scramble and it was so much fun to actually run around with a guy like Michael Vick to scramble around and actually play a better version of what I was doing in the first season and I actually scored a touchdown for the first time in this series in an actual game I scored a touchdown I couldn't believe it I was so excited so if you want to see that go back and watch last week's episode uh, the first episode of the season because I scrambled and scored a touchdown so if you want to see my excitement my enjoyment go back and watch that but we've got to finish out season number two in this episode hope you guys are excited if you are leave a like subscribe to the channel join the juice club let's get down to business to defeat the huns here we are it is week 10 we've got four and four record taking on buffalo we play who did we start the season with we started the season with the patriots that's right and we went on a little bit of a win streak here. We won three of our first four. Then we lost. Then we won again. But then we lost a, a couple of weeks. And now we are here where we stand with the Buffalo Bills. We got to play the Bills. We got to play the Ravens, Jets, Steelers, Bengals, Panthers, Browns, and Chargers. But good news is the Browns have the best record so far of any of these last teams. The rest of them kind of have losing records except for the Jets are... Uh, Ravens are four and four, and so is the uh, Chargers. They're four and four as well, and then the the Bills are five and three. I think we can end up making the playoffs. We kind of have to make the playoffs because we made the playoffs in year one when that was supposed to be the worst year of the entire save because it's going from worst to first. But we made the playoffs, so now we kind of have to make the playoffs again. So I hope that we can, but we'll see what happens here. We are going to take on the Buffalo Bills. And we are going to get ready to go prepare for this game. I'm hoping that we can get the W here. We lead. Oh, we don't lead the division. I, th I thought that they had us at the top of the AFC East standings. But the Bills lead the division at 5-3. and three. Then it's us and the Jets at 4-4. Uh, four and four. Oh, Patriots are also 5-3 uh, and three as well. So this division is pretty competitive this year. This division is pretty competitive this year. We're only going to play the first half of football like we normally do or like we've changed to. And if we can get a big time lead, then that is going to be super helpful for the rest of this game. So I hope we can get it. I think we can. I'm a little scared, though. Aloha, I'm Chris Berman, and coming up on ESPN, we'll be getting out to the polls Tuesday with our votes for great football today in Week 10 of the NFL on ESPN. We've got two teams each hoping for a landslide victory here in this one. Buffalo, New York, now. And there she is, the ESPN blimp flying high overhead. Hi, and welcome to Giant Stadium. I'm Dan Stevens. Here with me in the booth, my longtime associate, Peter O'Keefe. Peter, this game has got a playoff atmosphere with a chance at the number one spot in the division at stake. Well, the pressure's on, Dan, you better believe it. Can secure number one in their division with a win. And with these kind of matchups, it all comes down to rhythm. 
Whatever team can establish an offensive and defensive rhythm earliest will come away with the win. And now let's go down to the coin talk. It's tails. Ryan Lindell kicking off for the There's goal. the signal, and we're it's ready. It's time for Giants football. Lindell kicks it off to begin the game. <laughs> Joyce fields it all the way back at the two. <laughs> Stop at the 31. Dallin Joyce got a very respectable return off. Okay, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We start on the 31-yard line. Good kick return. But how many times can I scramble for first down? Look at these yardages I'm getting. Look at all the yards I got on that first play. I just want to scramble the entire time. That's all I want to do is just scramble because I've proven that I can't throw the ball very accurately. So if I can scramble and get yards that way, it'll work out in the end. It'll all work out in the end. Especially if I'm getting good blocks like this. And I can cut outside. Oh, that's a face mask or something. Horse collar. Something happened there. I was trying to get a little sticky with the controllers. And uh, go for a big time juke or something. Maybe I should have actually done a, a physical juke instead of just trying to manufacture one. I don't know. But Tiki Barber's got some openings. And Tiki Barber stays on his feet. What a big run from Tiki. If we could just be a run team, I'll be happy with that as long as it scores touchdowns. If it results in touchdowns, I'll be happy with how it happens. I don't really care. But we need to start out with a big time W, that would be, or a big time touchdown, that would be ideal. Tiki gets a nice four yard carry. Good job, Tiki. Good job, Tiki Tiki. And I'm thinking we roll out to the left side and scramble with Vic again if it's open. It should be there. It's there. It's there. Michael's got a ton of yardage. Michael Vick to the stepping out of bounds. We are awesome, man. This is so much fun doing this. I'm so happy I learned how to scramble. I can't thank you guys enough, especially the person who told me how to scramble in the first place. I forget your name. I apologize. Um, but thank you for telling me how to scramble because it's changed the game, man. It has changed the game. Instead of having like three and outs all the time, I actually can move the ball now. <laughs> Which is, I can't, I still can't throw the ball very accurately, but at least I can. Oops, I didn't mean to even press that, but it'll work because he got some yards out of it. Um, but at least I can freaking run the ball. So that's good. No, I don't want to. Uh, can I audible out of this? No, call a timeout, call a timeout. I didn't, I pressed a run play on accident. I pressed the wrong button. It's third and goal. I don't want to have a run play. I want to have a passing play so that I can maybe scramble for a touchdown that's the entire goal so and we are gonna have to throw oh I got no 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 it's a pick six I'm so upset I ah. I'm so upset just let him score what does it matter they're gonna score anyway oh I'm so upset I screwed up I thought the guy... Can I go to the instant replay? London Fletcher with a huge interception. We need to go to the replay here. Oh, I can only start it back... No, I can only start it back when he's already on the on the way. So basically what it, what happened... If I can move... Can I move? Okay, there we go. I can move my guy. So I was running with Michael Vick. And I accidentally pressed X because I... Same thing that I did on the previous play. I thought that X was scramble for a second. Because my brain... I've, I've played too many Madden games where X is scramble. So... I pressed X on accident, but it didn't register that I pressed it um, until I got too far, like, until I got close to the line of scrimmage. But when I got to the line of scrimmage, the guy that was blitzing me or that guy was pressuring me had walked past me. So I had a free lane to the end zone, and I thought maybe I didn't screw up, but then it, it did register that I pressed X, and it threw it to Tiki, and Tiki was not open. London Fletcher intercepts it and takes it all the way like he did. Oh, that's so upsetting. I had a huge, a huge... A huge, a huge play, possibly a touchdown that I completely screwed up because I'm an idiot. So we'll see if they score. I guess you can stay in here and, and see it, what happens, see if they score. But 
They've got Brett Favre on their team. <laughs> Brett Favre is the quarterback for the Buffalo Bills. No wonder they are uh, where they are in the standings. But they will take a one-play touchdown. Ah, oh, that's so stupid, man. We should have had the touchdown, but I screwed it up. I'm such an idiot. Ah, oh, I hate my life, man. I hate my life. Why did I screw it up? We could have been up 7 nothing, and yet we're down 7 nothing because I, I'm an idiot and I pressed the wrong button. Oh, that's upsetting. That's real upsetting. <sighs> that's dumb. That's real dumb. I hate I hate it. I do not like it one bit. We will start at, what, the 28? Yes, the 28-yard line is where we will start. And I'm going to try and not be dumb this time. I got to remember, R1 is the scramble button, not X. There we go. See? Look at all. Oh, look at the speed. Look at Michael Vick go. Move those legs, Mike. Get out of bounds before you get hit and cause a fumble. Let's go. That was a huge run. That was a huge run. He's too fast, too furious. You couldn't keep up with him at all. And that was a great block on the edge. I've got 73 rushing yards, three passing yards. Looks like we know what my priority is are. And I'm going to take off and run again. And I think I've got a good lane. I do. First down, Michael Vick. Michael Victorious. And we'll go with the Tiki Barber run here. Maybe the Tiki Barber run will be efficient. Uh, he's got a nice opening, but I kind of screwed it up. I kind of like was ping-ponging around, bouncing around instead of just exploding through. Oh, that's how you see the... Oh, I'm figuring out a bunch of stuff. R1's a very useful button in this game, it seems. Uh, slide down. I tried to slide. R1 is a very useful button. I was always curious about how to see the entire field because I figured it was a possibility, but R1 is how you see it. Okay, that helps a lot, actually. That helps a lot. I couldn't snap it before the quarter ends. We've got to put a touchdown on the board before we start simulating. It's got to happen. It's got to happen. We start first and 10. Jason Seahorn's back there. And Tiki Barber will fight forward for a couple yards. Good job, Tiki. All right, we will go with this play. We got Reggie Wayne, Toomer, Shockey. It looks like they're starting to fill the edges out a little bit more, but I'll just run up the middle because that's what Michael Vick can do. First down, Giants. All right. Oh, look at DC Vick. Wait, hold on. Can we get a replay of that? Did you see? Oh, come on. Why do they got to be no fun? I wanted to see Vic do his little celebration that he was doing. That was awesome. Whatever. Whatevs. Now is 104 rushing yards on the day. Michael Vick is dominating. And can Tiki get in? Tiki scores? Oh, come on. How did I not get in there? All right, can I go? Is there not a QB sneak in this game? I don't think there's a QB sneak in this game. Uh, okay, so if there's no QB sneak in the game, there's no juice special. So we'll just have to give this ball to Tiki and, and see if he can score. Come on, Tiki. I know you can do it. You just need one yard. Get in there, Tiki. Touchdown, Giants. Oh, baby. We are here. Tiki's excited. We are here. We are ready to go. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. You love to see it. And if we can stop them on, on defense, then we'll be good to go. If we didn't, if I didn't screw up on that first drive, we could have 14 points right now, and we'd be dominating. But I will see you guys if we get the ball again. Okay, so we've got a minute and eight seconds on the clock, and I the Bills did score. I stopped them. I got them to a third and ten, but I couldn't stop them after that. They were just uh, Brett Favre was too good. He he had. Um, a really good throw on a slant route and I just couldn't catch him after that so uh, we do unfortunately have not a lot of time left to score to tie this game back up is this gonna be a hold what's this gonna be unfortunate uh, yeah oh it's against De Buffalo it's a defensive hold against Buffalo on Buffalo's 47 yes sir we're gonna take our yards that I got on that play uh, that man this is a whole lot different than Madden Madden would never call a defensive holding that's why I was so confused. <laughs> Madden would never call it offensive hold. I don't think I've that's even programmed into their game. 
the ability to call defensive holdings. Oh no! How did you catch me there? How did you even catch me? I thought I was uh, pretty good there. 37 seconds left. Gotta snap this ball. We're gonna run it with Tiki and then call a timeout because we have some time. Uh, Tiki, get a big gain. Good job, Tiki. Go down. Call a timeout. Timeout called. We've got one timeout remaining. We've got one timeout remaining, and we need we need to get a touchdown. I would prefer a touchdown, but obviously I, we can take a field goal. It's not something that I really want to do, especially if you throw a block. Come on, throw a block there, my guy. What are we doing? If you throw a block, I get around the edge, and we're good to go. But you didn't throw one. 22 seconds left. I can't run the ball. I mean, I can. But it wouldn't be smart, and I didn't even get a chance to throw it because I pressed square when it was L1. Why would the receiver be L1? I have no idea. I'm not, I was not prepared for him to be L1. So that sucked. He was going to be open, too. Uh, just take the yards, I guess. We're not going to get anything out of this. That sucks. Ah. Oh. Man, what a rough first half. And now we got to go and simulate the rest of the game. We're going to lose this game, no doubt about it. Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. Oh, what a beautiful uh, New York skyline. Or are we in Buffalo? I don't know. I don't really know where we're at. Or oh, we're in New York. We're in MetLife. All right, so we got to go simulate to the end of this game. Did we win? No, we got absolutely cooked. 31 to 14. All right, 31 to 14. We lose. And let me just, uh, actually, I was going to save, but I don't really need to save. So, wow, that's brutal. That's a brutal way to lose. That is a brutal way to lose. And we will simulate the rest or some of these games. Four and five record. It's not over by any means. We're not out of the playoffs yet. We're not anything like that. We just got to win. Let's win some games. There we go. We beat the Ravens. That's good. Five and five. Let's beat the Jets. We really need to beat the Jets because the Jets have jumped us. They're six and four. Big time win by three. Let's go. Six and five. The Bills and the Patriots are both seven win teams. If we beat the Steelers here. No. How do we get blown out by the Pittsburgh Steelers? There were they. Oh. How do we get blown out by the Steelers, man? We got to win these next couple games. It's got to happen. Come on, beat the Bengals. No, we lost to the Bengals? Oh, we're done. It's over. It's over. There's no way we can win now. Absolutely no way. Even if we do win these last couple games. And we lost to the Panthers. What is happening? Why are we losing? Uh, well, we're not going to the playoffs this year. We are not going to go to the playoffs. Three straight losses? Oh, we beat the Browns. Congratulations. Oh, how did we lose? We lost three straight, man. After we beat the Jets, who were a much better team than the Steelers or the Bengals. Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. I cannot believe what happened here. Playoff picture. Buffalo's got in guaranteed. The Jets are in guaranteed. The Patriots are in guaranteed. So we physically, I don't think, can get in. We're basically locked out because there has to be a winner from the AFC North, which will be the Ravens or the, or the Browns. There has to be a winner from the AFC South, which will be the Texans. So we physically cannot get in. Even if we were in the, in the, the, uh, have the ability to get in, we weren't, we weren't going to get in. So that's so stupid that we are not going to be in the playoffs because of these three straight losses right here. Why would we lose to the Steelers or, and we got blown out by the Steelers too. It's not just that we lost. We got blown out. By the Pittsburgh Steelers. And we all oh, great. We win against the Chargers. We finish 8-8. Eight and eight. Fantastic. But we will miss out on the playoffs. Oh, that's so dumb. So dumb. There's no way that we should have lost this game. Or lost, not been able to mid in the, in the postseason. That is real dumb. Very, very dumb. <sighs> Whatever. Michael Vick. Had a 65% completion percentage this season. 3,700 yards, 21 touchdowns to 14 picks. Uh, rush picks? Rushing Tiki Barber, 243 attempts, 963 yards, and 12 touchdowns. Michael Vick had 528 yards and four touchdowns, including the one that we scored in week one. 
Receiving wise, Amani Toomer had 75 catches, 1,000 yards. Reggie Wayne had 63 and 911. Both had five touchdowns. Jeremy Shockey also contributed four touchdowns and 615 yards, so that's good. Gordon Allison, our rookie, had 19 catches for 174 yards and got a for his first career touchdown. Good for him. Defensively, 103 tackles from Barrett Green. Uh, some good seasons from defense. Let's uh, sort this. William Joseph had eight sacks. Strahan had six. Yumanyora had two and a half. Interception leaders. We had three from Stoudemire. Two from Williams and Allen. Anthony Brown, our other rookie from Iowa, had an interception. That's good. He also had three tackles, two sacks, 22 assisted tackles. Good for him. Good for him. Good season. Kicking-wise, Matt Bryant did fine for what it is. Uh, kick returning, Jamar Taylor and Delvin Joyce had a decent um, special team seasons. Joyce had a kick return touchdown, so that's good. Uh, awesome. Very, very good. But that is the season. That is annoying. That is very, very dumb. Can we see awards just yet? Okay, we can see awards. Donovan McNabb will win the MVP in year two. Defensive player of the year. Or offensive player of the year is Dante Culpepper. Defensive player of the year, Adam Archuleta. Offensive Rookie of the Year is Lewis Banks. Defensive Rookie of the Year is Ben Navarro. Rushing title goes to Jamal Lewis. We don't know what the Super Bowl MVP is yet, but Michael Vick does not win back-to-back -back MVPs, which is kind of frustrating and kind of annoying, but it is what it is, and it was brilliant. We will simulate to the Super Bowl, and then we will finish the Super Bowl and see who wins next Thursday when we start the offseason. Oh, I'm so upset that the way that season ended, man. Three straight losses, and especially to a team like the Steelers, who are not good. We were clearly better then. Wow, man. Wow, 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 wow. We should not have lost. We should have been in the postseason. We should have been. We beat the Jets, who were better than us. <sighs> That's frustrating, but we took too many losses early in the season. That's the whole, That's the whole thing. We got to get better. We got to get better. I'm hoping that we have money for this offseason. I'm really hoping that we have a decent amount of money to pay for hopefully some good players in the free agency period. I don't know who's going to be in free agency. Uh, can we see who's in the Super Bowl this year? I don't know how I would see that. We can see the mock draft. How do I see who's in the Super Bowl? So here's the division standings. Uh, you won't be able, able to see the West because my camera will be in the way. But... Three teams from the AFC East got in, and we were the only team that got out. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. The Rams make it in the West as well. Crazy how that happened. Absolutely crazy. So how do I see who's in the Super Bowl? Can I see the schedule or anything? Uh, Pro Bowl voting. We don't need to see that until uh, next episode. I don't think I can see who is in the Super Bowl. I don't I don't know. I guess we'll never know. As Kanye West once said, I guess we'll never know. So that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave it a like, subscribe to the channel, join the Juice Club. Unfortunately, we don't have a playoff video next Thursday, but next Thursday will be even better because everybody loves a good off-season video, and that's what's coming next Thursday. So I hope you guys stick around for that. Uh, and if you enjoyed, leave a like. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.